Hey guys, this is Diego Gonzalez from MindlessPaint.com and today I want to tell you how to make and show you how to make a quick uh, breast cancer awareness shirt. So um, I'm going to show you like just a quick technique and uh, so I'll have all the information of all the airbrushes I use, the paints I use, and all the tools I use, tools I use in the link below of the description section so you can see everything and check it out and uh, you know, so let's get started. All right. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually use a little stencil I cut. So if you wanna use any of these stencils or you want some for your own, check it out. I have some on my website, they're really dope. I use them, you know, and I kind of mix them in, but I, I freehand a lot of stuff. That's what I usually do now. So place it on there. I use spray adhesive on the back and I spray it. Actually, let me show you that first. So I get 3M or Scotch or whatever spray adhesive. It's usually really, uh, 3M stuff I like, so I'll spray it on the back, lightly. Missed it, I'll do it down here so it doesn't get on the shirt. But I missed it on there. Then I'll place it on the center of the shirt. And I wanna make sure that I leave room for the words or anything I have to write on there. So let me get a better center of the shirt right there. I'll press it down with my hands, really firm. Make sure that's really fine and firm. Then I'll stretch the shirt, make sure it's nice and tight and stretched. So now I'll go over with black using my first color. And when you airbrush stencils, I learned, like I usually go over a light coat first. And I move around the stencil. I don't oversaturate it right away. And then I built in the black, really deep, dark black. So see, it's it's kind of blurry. I mean, it, I kind of go out the lines a little bit, but that's fine. You'll see now, so now I use uh, pink for breast cancer awareness. So I use a bright pink and then I'll go over the black and it's transparent so it doesn't muddy up the colors. And then I'll freehand some design around. I love doing that, it really makes the shirt pop out. So I do some like freehand swirls. Really, just however it feels. Like I feel like I need a balance more up here, maybe down here, so I'll add Swirl there, a swirl here, and then I'll want one like here. I call it swirls, you can call it scrolling, whatever. So there you go. So this is like some scrolling effect, and then I put the, uh, the pink in there, and I still lift that on there. And I peel off the template. So bam, that's perfect, nice and white and nice and clean. That's really good. Customers love that, sell a ton of them. Then I'll fade in the pink right here. All right, and um, that's cool. Actually, sometimes I like to do this. I like to put a little swirl in here because I know the words are gonna go in here. So I'll lay down pink first so it doesn't muddy up the black colors. All right, so that's done. That's pretty much a nice design shirt already. Just put some words on it and you're done, but this is the little extra steps I do. I'll blow dry it.
and then I'll um, actually, so there's some overlap right here, some uh, overspray. So I'll, I'll overspray. I kind of freehand. that in there to kind of make it more 3D. There you go. Okay, so that really cleans up the stencil look, you know? There you go. So if you're good at freehanding, I go over the stencil look. So I'm gonna add some more pink in there and then I'm gonna add the word survivor on there. So I'm gonna put the S right here. And I always start like this. I always, um, this is my process. I, I always uh, sketch it out first. And th that idea I use in drawing, but I also transfer that over to airbrushing shirts and airbrushing everything else. So put the S here, a big S, a big S. I like that. You know, it uh, stands out, looks really unique. And then I use, uh, I'm gonna put the word survivor. So you five survive or. So now it's spaced out nicely on the shirt. So now I can go in here and actually, let me zoom in. Picking up the letters. I know a lot of guys will do it in one stroke or be super fancy about it. It doesn't matter. As long as you get the letters filled, as long as you get a nice design at the end, that's all that matters. go back over the S. I kind of do that, so that, that's my sketch also. And then I'll fill in the black. And sometimes I'll fade it like this. You know, maybe add an extra scroll on there. And I'll fade it from down to up. Survivor. And then, you know, there's some little spots in here. Actually, let me just throw a little scroll. I just felt like that should be there. <laughs> so there's a little spots in there that aren't perfect, and that's fine, because what I usually do, and what I like to do, is when I'm doing a high volume, lots of shirts, I'll come back over it. And let the pink, the brightness cover it up. that and maybe this is a too strong of a color for a girl but I like that little black tone in there and then I kind of freehand and freestyle all of my curves and strokes again a lot of guys will say you have to have it exactly here and exactly there bullshit do how do it however you like to do it like whatever looks good at the end of the day is what works for you like, what, what thing about my channel is, I'm gonna show you what I really do. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna, you know, you, you know, do something I don't do. Yeah, sometimes you go out the lines. Yeah, sometimes it's blurry, but I do a ton of shirts and people love, the customers love it, you know? So don't be scared about making a mistake. That's kind of what I'm saying, you know? Like what your mistake might be, what someone else might think is your mistake will be your best asset, you know? So I'm gonna come in here with some white. This is wicked white. I love it, it's really bright and vibrant. 
So I'll add some highlights to here to really pop it out. Alright, so I always, this is how I like to do it, I like to drag the white down. I feel like it gives them more depth to the word, makes it more three dimensional. You can do it any way you want, but this is how I like to do it. I like to start with a bright white, make it build it up really nicely, and then kind of do a flare, kind of drag it around. Do a little kind of star effect. More stars there. Bling it out, man. It's for a girl. Girls love it when it's super blingy, super shiny. You can never do too much of that on one of these shirts. This is kind of like a fun shirt to have, you know? You know, use it sparingly when you do other designs, but when you do simple, basic shirts like this, the more you have on it, like, let me zoom out and show you what I'm doing actually. So yeah, so the more you have out on it, on it, the better. Business, so I'll add that into my channel too. So the business of it is, okay, I'm gonna throw a star here, star here, star here, star here. I'm going to over though it's not muddy. And so you have bling, you have that, and, and people, the point I was making is, people perceive it as value. So if you do more to the shirt, if you overdo it, they'll come back, they'll pay you more money, all of that, you know? So I can talk forever about business and all of this stuff of airbrushing, and I can teach you a lot, and even more, I can help you make a ton of money. So that's the goal, and I want to help other artists. So um, this is the shirt. I definitely zoom out of here. So here's the shirt. I definitely appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys checking out my channel. Subscribe to my channel, and if you want any of the uh, stencils or the uh, any of the paints, I'll list them in the link below, and you can get your own, and you can try it out. They're on my website. I make them for you. And um, you know you can try out your own stencil designs or your own designs to make some quick, you know, just easy, you know, quick money and um, some cool designs and try this on your own. All right. So check me out. I appreciate you guys following me. Um, drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the next video, and I'll uh, see you guys again. All right. Thanks.